<laughs> well, that's new. Did you guys did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear the Zoom girl, the sexy voice? This meeting is being recorded. No shit. Really? Well, hence I just clicked record. No shit, I would hope it is. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. It's like every now and then like a company will update their features and it'll like throw me for a loop. And that's the first time I've heard that. So that, that has to be new, right? Yeah, it's funny, man. I see that all the time. That's what that's what how we envision that the MIC secretary sounds if she could talk. Maybe a little bit sexier, but I'm still wondering what she looks like, to be honest. <laughs> Val, let me, let me try to add you, buddy, and make you a panelist and see if it works. One sec. One sec, buddy. Val, you're good on my end, so if you figure it out on yours, you can, uh, you can talk. Hey, can you hear me? Yo, what's up, buddy? All right, man. What's going on? Dude, what do you mean, what's going on? The freaking move of a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah, Holy man. Sh- Bro, Stop. where do we start? Where do we start today? Seriously. What, what, what do you want to know? <laughs> I'm going to let you direct and lead. Guys, what do you want to know? Seriously. Like, you, this, dude, this is a, this is like unprecedented action. This is crazy stuff. You have me and Bob. Right my, my advice is, man, this shit is fucking hard. I was yeah. up, down, up, down. These meme stocks, what, what happens is this. At first, you think the head of the snake is AMC. So I'm shorting all these simply plays like BB and, and, costs and all this shit because i'm thinking it's fucking running off because of amc now amc dies and it tags over to gme so now gme's up bb's up cost is up all these other shits up so now each one of these sympathy pays are turning into the main plays itself so right now bro it's ridiculously difficult to short uh, you don't know what the fuck is going on my advice to everybody is just do not trade these men I've actually gone from green to fucking red to stuck. It's it's pretty bad out there, man, if you're shorting. Because you, you have no idea what to base it off. You think these are pieces of shit company, which they are definitely pieces of shit company. But these pieces of shit can run 100 bucks. Bro, it doesn't even matter these days anymore. Like, it doesn't even matter that they're shit companies, right? Like, someone posted a really funny but true uh, meme earlier. Guys, if you read that, this is why I found this so funny. I paid $120,000 for an MBA only to watch meme stocks outperform the market. Do you know how accurate that is right now? This is ridiculous. Dude, like, I, I went long on some of these. It fucking tanked. Went short. It fucking went up. This is pretty much unpredictable shit. It's yep. just fucking outrageous, man. Uh, the lines are not holding. It's just, yeah, right now it's just a wild, wild west, man. I have no idea what is driving it. The, basically, what I call is these stocks are non-conforming to the chart. They're totally unpredictable. They are basically, dude, they're untradeable, Ben. They, they are untradeable. I, I completely agree, Bow. And dude, this is out of my pay grade, man. I've been really off the gas pedal on small caps for the last week, man, because I don't like this meme wave, dude. I, I, I was saying don't underestimate it a week ago. I just know this generation of be, be, behind crypto, behind shit coins, behind uh, the problem AMC. Is this, uh, the, pro- the problem going long is this. If you fucking go long, these made and they drop, they may never, ever go back up again because they are pieces of shit company that – should not even be remotely up anything. So that, that's the fear of going long, guys. The fear of going long is if you're fucking stuck and you do not have proper risk management, you will hold this shit down to zero and it will well, never, ever. Well, and, and even, if, and, and Val, let's talk about even if you do get a reprieve, right? Like, let me kind of blow up the daily chart on MIC, guys. Say, so my, my, I knew someone who got stuck for a long time on AMC and they got bailed the fuck out. But look at the time that they had to wait to get that, bailed that, that out. They're lucky as fuck because it's no, – dude, what's the odds of ever fucking to go back dude, up? Dude, the odds of this coming back were almost none. But look, at, even if it did come back, you would you have to wait three months since the last run? Oh, like, that's months, agonizing, months, dude. It could be never. And it could be never. Look, look before this fucking meme shit. Look how long uh, GME and cost was way down. Dude, this is – this, Here, history. I, there's a five-year chart. There's a five-year chart. Look at this. Look at this, dude. You guys are missing the whole fucking point. The point is not waiting three months. It's waiting years, and it will never go up. This is the, this is the only time in history that this move is happening, and it happened again. So, I mean, 
uh, the next side, it could be Congress, fucking change the rules. You never know. But that's the fear of going long on these guys. These are lottery stocks. So treat it as a lottery stock. Do not fucking mortgage your house. Do not fucking like you. If you trade these, you better be fucking okay with losing 100% of your account. Yep. At 1000%, dude, this is a lottery ticket at best. And even if you get bailed out, dude, there are times when you're stuck for months and you're on your knees begging at every God you've ever heard of to get even to get, it's not worth it, man. So be fucking careful. Dude, this is, this is the biggest candle AMC has ever seen. I would stake my life on it and I wouldn't even have to look at every single day it's ever been in business. I wouldn't even have to, this is how ridiculous this is. It's just, I mean, it's, there's nothing to say about it, guys. If you're training on this shit, you're training on your own. I mean, fuck, man. I'm, I'm actually down today because I got fucking raped on some of these. That, so, like, BB, for example, I thought that was fucking, like, a simply play. But Let's the simply about plays this. are turning into the fucking main plays now. And that's the fucking craziness of this, this fucking market. The market is just fucking the shorts getting themselves fucking stuck. It, it, they all diverge from the main stock. So basically each one of these are becoming their own fucking head of the snake, which is almost never the case, man. This is why we're saying guys, this is like almost a new generation of, of trading. It's like people are getting bailed out this and that, but you can't, you can't go long on things like that or invest in it for the long haul because it, it might never do it again. So you don't know when the last one is going to fall, but dude, this would have never done this years ago when, when AMC was done, when this put in like a certain amount of weakness, BB doesn't go up. It's a sympathy. Like usually the sympathies never even make a move past what the head of the snake is doing. That's what we're trying to say. So, I mean, you just look, kind of look at this shit for fun, man. There's the education of these is having the fucking discipline not to be in the stock. That, that is basically what the education is, man. It's like, I was making money on this, now I'm not making money, and now my fucking orders are all fucking stuck in this stock. It's fucking ridiculous. There's just no... It's just it's, too hard, guys. It's, it's, just, hard. it's just action where if you guys can literally cut your ego out of the equation and sit on your hands for a week or two and just say, look, this is above my pay grade. This might be out of Bow's pay grade. Take your ego out of the equation, dude, and just chill for a second. The market's going to be here 100 years. You don't have to capitalize on this FOMO right now, guys. Just chill. Just pump the brakes dude, for a week. Now too. What, what's that, about? Dude, now, now it's, they're all stuck. My orders are fucking stuck. So, I mean, dude, it's, it's, it's blowing up fucking networks and systems as well. My, my fucking ARCA is fucking down for me. This is, this is, uh, it's, dude, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I, I cannot believe what Koss and GME are doing right now with AMC with this overhead. I cannot believe this, dude. Bro, this, this is this, this is, I've, I've never seen a fucking move like this. I, I, I just don't know what to say, man. Um, it's fucking, it's pretty much ridiculous. Um, By the way, guys, this is coming from your guru's mentor. This is a guy who's been trading for 20 years. Like, so, I've only been trading for seven years. The has been in two decades. So my mistake today was getting overly confident, making money initially, and then sizing up when AMC tanked, only to fucking see this shit create its own fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> this is like this is like the hydra from godzilla with the three heads literally dude i've hit my max loss with these accounts and thank god i have a max loss otherwise i'd be fucked up <laughs> well about that's what i was saying earlier at the start of this webinar these are the days bro where i have and i'm not shitting you guys i have seen dear friends of mine lose hundreds of thousands in a day because they didn't do what we implemented at mic called a max daily loss or hard stops back then none of us used them fucking five years ago but now that we do it's because of days like that. i've seen my friends go hundreds of thousands of dollars down the hole in one day because of a day like this and they underestimated not cutting it off when they should have. That's the point. So, you know, you hear us blather on about hard stops and for good reason. So if we're driving you crazy on that, I hope we are. I'll keep banging your head against the wall about using hard stops and max daily losses because if you don't use them, you're not a trader anymore. You're, you're done, bro. You're not a trader anymore. So do you either want to, you know, get annoyed at me ranting and raving about it all 24 seven and you make money or you blow up one day and you're like, man, I wish I would have heard Tosh, you know, jam it down my throat every single day. <laughs> you know, like, I'm telling you, man.
uh, Skay had FOMO, traded 40 and 50 shares, scalp and bounces with hard stops. You know what, dude? Th th that's the way to go, man. Skay, just you know, do what's comfortable, but also do what you can do to protect yourself, right? The thing about insane amounts of range like this, guys, is what you'll notice is it doesn't take any kind of size to have a good day. You could literally get in 200 shares on something, you know, one of these runners, set a hard stop, risk 200 bucks, and maybe make three grand. Like the, the beauty about range is as long as you protect yourself, the range when on the right side trend can really work in your favor, like a tailwind, like a tsunami. In fact. Yeah. I've, I've, I haven't lost like this in Jesus. I can't remember when um, I haven't lost in a long ass time. No, you, you said max daily loss in two accounts. I've never heard you say that bro in like five years. That's, that's, that, that's how, you know, this is really, really a hard market to trade guys. Mistake, I haven't heard Val say was, something like that in five years. Was to, the mistake once again, I'm telling you guys is to underestimate and miscalculate which one's head of snake. And this, this whole thing is a totally different sector guys. Uh, this is not your typical trading. This is not your typical sympathy trade. This is a whole new thing. They're just, they're just pounding it. So um, going along is so dangerous at these levels. Like I said, man, it fucking goes down. You're fucking smoked too. So dude, dude, this, this is literally what it is right now. Like usually when the head of the snake gets cut, they're done, bro. This is, this is what it is, right? This is what we're trading right now. This, like when you see this guys, these are the sympathies that are running with it. That's what we're talking about. Like this thing has multiple, it's growing new heads. That's usually never the case. So when you see this, it's, you just got to sometimes admit defeat, man. And just say, I will come back tomorrow. I don't need to try to bully my way into a bigger loss or don't be that guy that's got a max daily loss. And then you call up your broker and you're like, Hey, Hey, you know, um, Ryan, et, et cetera, or, you know, Chad, et, et cetera, you know, whatever broker you're a part of, don't be like, dude, remove my max daily loss. I'm going to make it back. I'm going to make it back. And then bro, you're done. You're, it, it only takes one really dumb day. Caesar, I did awful today. Started green in the morning with like 150, ended up right now with negative 550. And you know what, Caesar? That's not courier ending, but I hear what you're saying, right? So, you know, depending on what, what amount of money you make each day, maybe that's three days of work. Maybe that's one day of work. I don't really know. But when you can keep your losses small and say, look, dude, today I got beaten up. It's okay. I'm going to come back tomorrow with a clear head or the next day, instead of saying, okay, I'm negative 550. Let's trade the rest of the day till I get back to zero. And then it's 2,500 by the end of the day, negative. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to keep compounding when your head's fucked up and your mental is really off kilter. You got a gyroscope dude in your body, man. And when you're off center, man, there, there's a big chance of you continuing to be off center. If you keep pushing when the iron is, uh, just it, it, dude, look at this, man. Look at costs right now. This is unbelievable, dude. Like AMC, which was the head of the snake, is actually underperforming right now, and you have this outperforming. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, you know? Uh, let's go through these though. Just look at Twitter. Who would have predicted AMC would go up thirty five percent today? RM will keep. Dude, who knows? Like, who could have predicted this, right? <laughs> All the Reddit guys are like, I did, I did. We're going to a hundred thousand a share. <laughs> okay. Uh, do not get cocky nor overconfident when things are spiking or crashing. We have all done it. Exactly, bro. Overconfidence or, or well, two, two factors, right? Overconfidence will absolutely get you smoked, but it's also as um, destructive as just ego saying, I can revenge this back. I, I, I'm too good of a trader to take a loss today. I'm too good of a trader. I've been doing this too long to hit a max loss. I'm going to make it back. And then you double it. You triple it. Um, let's see. I have called my broker to do exactly that. It never ends. But yeah, it, Midtown just said it, dude. He's literally called his broker to say, "Hey, remove my max loss today. I don't need. It. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep winning this back. Or I'm gonna do, it. dude. I, I. I've literally done that one time. I can remember. I've done that two times in my trading career, and I think one time it ended good. One time it ended bad. And I was like, okay, just always keep it in. Fuck it, dude. Just always keep it in. Max daily losses, guys. Set it at a number you're comfortable with losing. This will save your mental capital and stress levels. See. The, the problem with you guys setting a max loss, there is one problem with it. And I tell you what it is. When you set it too big, you're going to want to remove it from your broker because now you've ex you can't accept that you're down that much, quote unquote, that much, right? When you have it at a reasonable comfort level, like Steven just said, okay, whatever it is, you know, every trader is different on risk. 
if you're like, okay, I'm very comfortable losing 500 a day, that's no problem, then you set it at 500. But if you set it at 1500 and you get fucking queasy and want to throw up all day, once it's above 750, guys, you're going to want to remove it because you don't even want to accept the 1500. So you might as well make it back and make it back. And then you're in the hole for five grand. And then you're literally vomiting your brains out because you're not comfortable with what your original max loss was. So like Steven said, you got to set it up to where it's comfortable because when it hits, you just go, okay, I lost that day. It's not a big deal. And I'm a trader. You lose every now and then. I anticipate a loss every now and then. This is normal. I'm okay. If you're not okay with your max loss, it's too big. And then you're going to manipulate it. Uh, do, do, do. Markets have been the toughest, easy to break rules. Very, very easy to break rules right now. And that's why, uh, you know, Bao and I feel that it's our duty. Like, fucking, we have to do these webinars right now, dude. Like, as much as sometimes we don't want to, right? Like, Bao doesn't necessarily probably want to give a webinar on a day where he's red. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming, like, I wouldn't. Like, that's not easy. But, dude, we got to protect you guys. We got to tell you guys what to expect right now. This is not an easy market. And we're not just here to be doom and gloom, but we're here to be um, the light that you need to hear because there's a bunch of people that you're going to see on Twitter today. They're going to brag. They're going to say this is the best trading day of their career. How can you pussies not make as much as we can? Blah, blah, blah. They're going to pout. They're going to blow off their chest. They're going to try to be King Kong and let them, dude, just let them while we teach you guys how to stay safe for the next hundred years as a trader. You yep, yep. Just avoid yep. the street, guys. Fuck, man. These All these fucking... Sympathy plays turned out to be now the new fucking plays, man. This is just way too unpredictable. Nothing. They do not even conform to the chart. These are just pure squeeze. Whoever short these are fucked. Dude. I, I, I would say just, the best thing. So this, this comes back to the whole thing, man. Guys, the boring, the boring days are the best days. Uh, these exciting shit. Make a lot of money, lose a lot of money. I, that's, that's not what I want to do anymore. Um, you just got to be careful, man. I'm telling you right now, guys. Um, I make my money every fucking single day until one of these guys come. And then I, I think I have fucking cushion from the, from the week and shit like that. Yeah. You know, I get fucking killed. Well, because, Bell, how many days, dude, seriously, if, if before MIC, before hard stops, or before max daily loss, do we go, okay, MIC's broken. We load the boat on cost and we even keep adding while it's broken. Dude, you can't do that anymore. You can't do that. Look at uh, this. I Yep. So you you take over. Let me fucking handle this shit, guys. I, I gotta fucking. Bell, yeah. go do your thing, man. Go do your thing. I'm gonna rant on a couple things. So Plus, thanks for coming on, Bell. We appreciate it, dude. I know I know how fucked your headspace can be, man. When you're down on the day, anybody, dude. I'm talking about any trader, even myself. It's very hard, guys. Um, in even our positions, every now and then, when we're educators, and there's been days, man, where I'm looking at such a big red P and L. And I'm like, fuck, I got to give a webinar, man. I have to help the members learn what I did wrong or maybe what Val messed up on or what Alex, we all mess up. And we all have days where we're like, you know what, man, I'm just not feeling it today. And it's going to happen. And the, the, thing, the, the thing that we pride ourselves at MIC, guys, is the number one thing is it's not a hierarchy. There's nothing about MIC. Here, I'll show you our roster list again. There's nothing about MIC that says I'm better than you, you're better than me, Bow's better than – guys, it's not about that. It's, it's such a collective experience of what can I learn from you? What can you learn from me? Dude, I learn stuff from members sometimes. Hey, I hate questions, Tosh. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Yeah, take questions, man. I think uh, time's running out, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you guys want to learn? What do you guys want to do all that? Because uh, I think we, we, we killed the, the dead horse now. Um, let's, uh, let's see. I think the questions start any business taking losses at some point. Why would anyone expect to not lose in trading? Yep, exactly. Um, can you guys explain what would, what would have been a good entry on OEG at market open? Bow, if you're still here to answer questions, yeah, we can definitely talk about some stuff. What are you talking about? OEG long or short? Um, let's see. I think he was talking about short. Let's, let me, let me pull it up. I mean, those kinds of questions are kind of stupid in my opinion, you guys. You guys can look at the chart, figure that out on your own. 
So I don't know what, 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 what he's trying well, to say. Well, the, the, the thing about gonna... OEG that you guys should take into consideration outside of just necessarily where should I get in is this is one of the examples today, guys, that was not a meme stock and look how it performed versus all the meme stocks. And this is why when Alex wrote in his watch list today, which again is the best freaking resource at MIC, he's going to guide you with what you need to look for because guys, this was not a meme stock and it got smoked. The attention was not on this today. The attention was on these. So, wow, look at the, God dang, dude, look at these. Money is flowing to four corners and I very rarely ever seen that in my trading career. That's unbelievable. In fact, the volume today on AMC is about 700 million, I think it was. <laughs> dude, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Uh, let's see, next question. Uh, do, do, do. Quick question. When you set a max loss at the broker, do you prefer setting it as auto liquidate when max loss hits or liquidate only? Val, what do you do? What do you like? You got a lot liquidated, man. Yep. You do not fucking, if, if I had the fucking liquidation done, I'd be fine. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Right now it, it fucking turned into a double max loss. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't agree more. Um, but yeah, sorry, man. I, I kind of skipped over your question, Caesar. I mean, to go back on OEG, man, just, just outer lines. When it comes to what's a good entry, outer lines, and where you're willing to scale based on resistance, this didn't jump high enough for me today, so I, I actually didn't hit it. But if you wait for this major tank and you do want to hit a couple of the channel trades um, on the pops that keep failing under VWAP, you can do that with tight risk. So uh, that's guys, another thing very to think simple, about. Man. Stick to the process, risk management. Trading is very simple. Today I fucked up because I had no fucking risk management whatsoever because I'm like, dude, AMC tanked. These shit should tank, but they became ahead of their own. So and then what happens is when you're trading so much size on a stock that's not liquid like cost, you're fucked. So cost unbelievably was a huge loss. It turned, I mean, I, I, I was, I turned around, I was down maybe three grand. And then I turn around and like balloon to like 10 times the loss instantly. Look at, look at that parabolic. It's yeah. Let me, let me pull this up for you guys so you can see. So my whole thing guys focus on risk management. You got to put in your fucking heart stop. You have to do your max lane loss liquidation loss. Today was a big, big fucking learning lesson. Once again, for myself, Bingo. I, haven't, I haven't done this in ages and that's because I'm like, I came into the day thinking I'm going to nail all these guys, which I did. I was fucking nailing every single play until they became their own fucking monster. So, and you know, it happens, guys. I like to take a loss, but I'm just telling you how it is, man. This, uh, just. Just basically turn off all these fucking meme stocks and you're shorting this shit. Well, and the, and the good news is, guys, again, is we can educate you on days that we fuck up every now and then or maybe break rules or throw caution out the wind. And you got to understand, trading is not just fucking unicorns and rainbows, bro. There are dark days every now and then where you go, wow, I really broke rules. And of course, you know, I suffered for it because I broke rules. Um Tosh, what would you what what uh, would you be up to analyzing this trade I did on BB? So let's take a look on what you did on BB. Let me pull this up, buddy. My computer's a little slow right now. After an hour on this webinar, man, it really slows up. All right, we on? Is this it? Yeah. I don't know what you want to know. <laughs> you <mentioned it. laughs> yeah. Well, here's what you did, man. I mean, well, I did, you did a good job. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I don't hate this trade, man. I mean, you had a stock that was not garnering a crazy amount of attention. Today. It was part of the meme stocks as it's the BlackBerry, it's BB. But here's the thing, man. I mean, you shorted it VWAP. I'm assuming you probably risked VWAP right there uh, with the resistance right there. It, I don't know what you went <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is not really the best trade of all the shorts. Yeah, just... I like it. I mean, you paid yourself on a wash as long as you're really This is how you, this guy, guy gets, I, I think a lot of times people just want to fucking like show off their shit. Um, and it does, I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys, man. You guys know exactly what you guys need to do. Take a look at the fucking chart, draw your lines, analyze it and say, Hey, did I do right? Did I do wrong? Hindsight is the easiest way to examine any of these stocks, guys. You do not need us to tell you, Hey, you did a good job. You know whether or not you did a good job. If you do not know, Go watch the videos, right? The videos will tell you how to draw the lines. You have the chart in front of you. How can you not know you did a good job or not? Right, guys? Um, hindsight is very simple. Pull up the chart, 
take a look at it, draw your lines on that chart and say, hey, did I do a good job? Did I have FOMO? Did I cover where I should have covered? So you don't, so at the, when you do that every single day after the market closes, you will be a much better trader. You do not need us to examine every single print you do, guys. You save those questions for when you fuck up. If you fuck up and you do not know why, then you can you should ask. But if you are, but if if, if you're making money and the only thing that you're trying to figure out should I make more money? I mean, it's obvious, right? Everybody can make more money. Just draw the lines. I dig it. I totally. Okay, next one. Um, I have my max loss for the day set to auto sell and do not let me trade again. It's forcing me to stop and think. Nice, Stan. Um, about setting hard stops, do you use market hard stop or limit? Z, never a limit. They may not trigger. You have to use market hard stops. Um, they're going to execute and do some slippage as a market hard, as well as a, as a market order. But guess what, man? What's better, getting executed as a market order guaranteed 99.9% .9 of the chance or a limit hard stop where, you know, it, it triggers 30% of the fucking time and your limit stop is at 1325 and never triggers. Now this motherfucker is at 17 and you're crying. So market hard stop always. Um, would you consider AEMD, WPG and OEG low hangers? Uh, I didn't even look at two of those. Yes. You know the answer, bro. That's what you asked. <laughs> yeah. Def yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the same thing, right? Like the chart, like you use all the fucking low hangers. of course. Of course. Yeah, of course. I know OEG was. Cause... Uh, I mean, if you don't know the answer, bro, look up, fucking go watch the video on low hairs. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm sorry, guys. Today, the, I'm very frustrated today. When I'm hearing these questions, guys, I'll try to be gentle. But some of these questions are just kind of like, hey, I, it's, it's kind of like stroke my ego. You know, kind of shit. Did I do a good but, job? But, but, but this is good. This is this is raw. This is real, man. We don't polish. This is fucking real, dude. This is good. Like sometimes we need to be blunt. Sometimes. Let we me ask to. you. Okay, so let me do the converse of that. Let me ask you. What makes you think it's not a low hanging fruit? See, now that's a really good question. So let's talk about that. That way it'll, it'll solve it to you. What possibly could make you think that OEG was not a low hanging fruit, or WPG was not a low hanging fruit? Right. And the See, answer is nothing. Question, you end up thinking for yourself. Because what happens is this. Even though you know, sometimes I feel like it's like when, I'm, when I was a little kid, I want validation from my, from my mom because I'm always so insecure. Yeah, I do a good job, mom. I do a good job. You got a fucking 95% on your test. You did a good job. <laughs> I did it? I could have done 99%. That's like, shut the fuck up, right? Can you um, tell validation or what? <laughs> so, so a lot of the times, guys, it's – Self-doubt. Stop self-doubting yourself. So you ask yourself, like, I mean, dude, OEG tank all the way fucking down. I mean, I don't know what else you can say. It's not low-hanging. No, it's a hot chicken today, bro. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then is AMC a low-hanging fruit? <laughs> so, so a lot of these times, guys, because I want you guys to fucking have confidence in yourself. Training is a lot about confidence as well as technical skills. Okay, guys. Because um, sometimes you're too fucking overconfident. So, so I got guys that are way too overconfident. Today I was way overconfident. I got my ass kicked. Uh, the other day I was way too, you know, timid. And I didn't capitalize as much as I should have. So somewhere in between is a fucking fine line between too arrogant and too, too, too kind of like scared, insecure. Okay, guys? Because well, 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 about, about the, they're both so detrimental. Overconfidence is going to make you oversize and trade everything and not obey risk management. And underconfidence, you're going to be gun shy or just a general wuss. And guys, scared money does not make money. It's, it's almost as bad as overconfidence. Overconfidence can blow you up, though. Underconfidence, you're just going to tread water for fucking 10 years until you figure it out. But both of them are, are just not going to make you money, man. And you got to get both of them on. You got to curb both. Uh, tomorrow's let's a new day. Let's hear, yep. let's, let's hear some good questions. I, wanna hear, I also want to ask me a good question, please. Uh, you can do, 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 do. Because, you know, the, the, the questions show who's learning, who knows, versus who's just fucking kind of like asking just to get attention. Okay, guys, we're not here to... I'm, I'm, if you want attention, dude, I can take you to your club. <laughs> I'm Mac. I'm Mac. I'm just gonna answer this really quick so I can. Right, you know, you I'm, don't want me to do so. I, I want you guys to ask 
real questions and then we'll answer them correctly. Yeah. Because you know, I, I, I'm hearing all these questions that are just like, come on, man, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really sure. Quick, now, let me let me just put my big ass loss today, guys. I'm being a real motherfucker, right? I'm being very real right now. And I'm taking the time out of my trading, which I, you know, to be honest, I care about you guys more than my fucking giant ass loss. Well, dude, not only that, you're, I, when you take a loss like that, your headspace is so fucked. The last thing you want to do is educate, but Val's here educating, man. That's huge. Um, la yeah, last thing you want to do is actually talk about it, right? It's like, yeah. Are you planning on trading BB, cost, GME, et cetera, tomorrow since they are now the head of the snake? I am not. I, what did all. I just say, Xander? I'm sorry, man. I love you. Actually, I like Xander. Xander's a good kid. What Xander did I just say? Fucking avoid these stocks. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> Xander, if, if, if I'm avoiding them and Val's telling you to avoid them, dude, don't trade them. Like, I'm literally taking the week off on small caps. I'm in big caps only this week. Dude. I made a fucking huge mistake by being overly confident. Didn't expect these things to run to the fucking moon because – I mean, dude, none of the chances, right? But you know what? In trading, shit happens. It happens all the time. Uh, what black swans? I see black swans every single day in the markets, man. People talk about black swans. It's like black swans are living my fucking house right now, right? So, um, do not trade these. Do not fucking touch these. The reason I'm sharing you my giant ass loss is because I'm even telling you, like, fuck, man. I mean, I'm getting killed on these stocks. Okay, so yeah. what chance do you guys got except pure blind luck, right? I'm not the best trader in the world, but fuck, man, I, I haven't had a giant loss like this in like fucking forever, right? Yeah, no, it makes yeah. sense, Val. It because totally makes I sense. I had a max loss set on my fucking account, but I just held on to the fucking loser. <laughs> and, and I just, I really just want to put a nail in this coffin right here where IMAC was saying about low hangers. Guys, unless a stock is gapping up over, you know, yesterday's highs, it's a low hanger, guys. If it has overhead from day one, it's a low hanger. If you low think hanger is this, guys. It's very simple. The continuation short. A day two. It's a day it's two. A, it's a continued day short. Doesn't, day two could be a continuation long. AMC has been a continuation long for five straight days, right? Correct. So, so low hanging fruit, basically, was basically a concept where we, we created, which basically is a continuation plan. So it's like, instead of a, a gapper that goes up, it's a, like a, it's like a gapper that goes down. Correct. So if a stock starts breaking down the previous day, the next day, it should continue to break down. If a stock... Um, so basically we, we want to, so basically it's an anti gap up trade. Or if the gap up completely fails, like OEG did today, right? Like it gaps up a little and then just gets smoked pre-market from its pre-market high. I have this kind of rule guys. If I fucking lose big, I take the day off the next day. I don't give a fuck about fucking coming back and trying to nail it because you know what, man, that stock kicked my ass. The bully kicked my ass. What the fuck chance I got coming back. Now I have PTSD, you know, it's yeah. not I can make back my money like on a normal place. So, I mean, I make my money every fuck. I'm not joking, man. Every fucking single day on the normal stocks. These are not normal stocks. These are deviations. These are just one off fucking weird ass shit that I can't fucking predict. Uh, I made Correct. a huge mistake of, I made a fucking huge ass mistake of fucking trying to fuck around with these stocks and I got killed. So. Yeah, and these, and these are the days, guys, where it's really beneficial to have a tap partner because Alex and myself would literally tell Bao on a day like this, like, dude, drive to Vegas tonight and go have a fun time tomorrow. Like, don't I, show up tomorrow. Like I you know, said, man, I have, I'm telling you, man, I had a max lady loss, but I fucking held on because I'm like, okay, this shit's going to come down. Next you know, fucking parabolic up on cost. So cost was my biggest ass loser. It was a fucking – I didn't even have that many shares, man. I had like 2,500 shares in each account, but – so I'm thinking 2,500 bucks, okay. I mean, how many points can it go up? Fuck, it's shot up like 14 points. <laughs> well, th that, that's the crazy part that I was saying about earlier is, man, when you have this kind of unexpected range and it comes out of nowhere, dude, small size can either make or break that day. Huge, right? Like 2,500 is nothing if this stays in the range that it did in the, pre in the morning. But dude, who could have anticipated this, right? Like 2,500 shares is actually a lot when this like random parabolic price action occurs and you're on the wrong side. It's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, if I were to trade tomorrow, I would be focused on low hanging fruits, guys. Only, uh, only, only exclusive. I did not touch AMC. I did not touch AMC one time. Nothing hot, all, nothing I hot. All the sympathies, 
Even fucking BB ran the fuck me over. Um, but cause was the real damage. I could not believe how much that motherfucker ran. Uh, in low volume, uh, that's the problem, man. When when you train low volume shit, cost is a stock that fuck, man. If I was a head trainer, I hold this shit because you know what, cost is worthless. That, that, that cost makes headphones. When's the last time you bought a fucking cost Dr. Dre headphone? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know they made headphones. They're so worthless. I do. Cost is the shit they they give free in the airlines. Like, that fucking like you know you leave a blister in your ear, bro. So. <laughs> Dude, he's funny even on a day like this, man. That's just, dude, Val, you're a legend. <laughs> That's what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, instead of Dr. Dre Beats, it's the, the Millie Manili fucking cost brand, dude. That's how shitty you are, right? This is Vanilla Ice, dude. <laughs> brand. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. But, but, but the point is, guys, we're, we're trying to show you guys how to stay safe, man, oh. because we just don't want your headspace to get fucked up or ruin yourself in one day, man. And you know what, man? Usually, I, what happens when when you hit your max fucking pain is when the top hits. And I cover all these at the fucking top, bro. <laughs> oh I man, I, I know. Hate, I uh, hate days like that, bro. There's like twenty thousand dollar difference from from basically just fucking like fifteen minutes ago. And, and Bell's right, man. You got twenty five hundred shares, and you're in a hedge fund with a billion dollar budget. Look, you can hold this, man, but you can't hold this when you're a day trader like a normal guy, just like us, just retail traders, man. How do you think these big hedge funds win all the time, even when they don't win? But dude, we're just normal guys. We're just normal guys trying to pay our rent every single day. You make our food, you know, buy how buy a car, whatever. Like we're not running Wall Street like a lot of these guys are, and they can hold this shit and keep adding. You cannot do that. You need to respect your max daily loss. If you're a retail trader, you have to be a retail trader. Don't my, try to be a hedge fund. My trader. max daily my max daily loss was not that big, guys. And that's the stupidity of my thought thinking. It's like, yep. okay, I'm gonna fucking hold this shit. I'll be okay. Next you know, man, by the time you want to get out, you cannot get out. And now everything is fucking tanking, man. Everything is tanking. So Wait, uh, dude. Machine Gun Kelly, these are the, his headphones. Dude, I heard he dated Summer Rae and couldn't even get laid in three months. Yeah, I don't want these headphones. <laughs> don't know who these motherfuckers are, Tosh. I, I was know. like, what generation are you talking about? <laughs> All these influencers, dude. Um, yeah, BB's coming down a little bit. Cost is coming down a little bit. I'm curious if, like, again, guys, just because you think they're going down doesn't mean, like, GME like doesn't go to freaking 400 you know what I mean like on a day like today just pump the brakes don't try to make it back man it's very dangerous Bow is your tab partner I'm even talking to you buddy as well because sometimes when we when we get our, our mindset gets fucked dude try I've been there it, it, we got 30 minutes left in the day guys it's not the time to get short it's not the time to get aggressive short just be careful talking to everybody I try to keep everybody safe, guys. Telling guys, I'm not sure you're AMC, do not trade AMC. The mistake was, fuck, the sympathies ran more than AMC. <laughs> that's that's unbelievable, dude. That's it's, that's crazy. I, I I don't know if we've ever seen that in in my entire trading career. So, yo, Serrano, this is your first webinar. Awesome, man. Yeah, we do this every, bro. We do this every single Wednesday, man. Hopefully you know, um, different topics, you know, much better topics of us winning and actually trading line by line and doing the damn thing. But look, man, we're going to give it to you real and raw. If we have a bad day, we're going to discuss and educate you guys. So you don't have these days or you mitigate them as best you can. Now let's go to one of those Viet T rooms. <laughs> Dude, those are badass. I love those Viet, those, those not cafe tea. shops or the, that's not tea. <laughs> yeah, that's not tea. <laughs> Oh tea man, bag. I love those. The only thing tea is tea bag. <laughs> Mike Tran. <laughs> Yo, Mike Tran knows what's up. <laughs> He's tapped in, dude. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Caesar, what's up, buddy? First webinar, awesome, man. I, I hope you guys like this, man. We're we as educators, man. We are trying to pinpoint the best topic every single day to make sure um, the majority of you guys get a really better understanding of how you can implement it in your own trading. Do you guys have any closing questions, man? I mean, we still got a little bit of time left. Do you guys have any questions for us? If a stock is going up and it's deviated from VWAP, but there is no news and it's being pumped by chat rooms, is it still a candidate for a first bounce? Now, since you're the first bounce master, what do you think about that? 
Uh, say that again. I'm so sorry. If a stock is going up and it's deviated from VWAP pretty heavily, but there's no news and it's also a pump, is this still a candidate for a first bounce? Why? It all depends on the. It's, these, these are very difficult to answer because how far deviated, um, like, it's very difficult to answer without specifics because you know what, man, how close is the stock to VWAP? I like a scenario where the stock is very deviated to the point where, you know, like I Matt, basically do this guys, put yourself in a position of a short. If you're trying to long a stock, put yourself in a short and you're like, what will I do if I was shorting? Would I be covering here? Or would I be nervous? I want to go along where the shorts are nervous. So the answer to that question is how far is it deviated? Ask yourself, is it deviated to the point where if I was a short, I'm shitting myself. I'm trying to fight for every cover. So when I used to long and do the first bounce many years ago, before I just kind of, you know, phased out of it because I love shorting so much, the one uh, exception I would say that on a general scale is if it had so much volume, I mean so much volume that I didn't care that it didn't have news or that the pump, the, the pumper that was, you know, quote unquote pumping it lost all his horsepower because now there's just general organic volume in it. Maybe I would, but again, like Bao said, you still have to take everything into consideration. If you're just talking about a normal first bounce on something with no news and it's a pump, if there's not much volume, I would never long those back in the day. I just don't like, because again, guys, use the things of MIC process that are going to help you get a better long. As Tom Diesel just said, is the stock easy to borrow? Is it hard to borrow? Is there SSR? Like, like what other factors are in? Like, what's the volume? There's a lot. It's not so general that, oh, it doesn't have news and it's being pumped. It's just automatically not along. That's not exactly true. But if we knew these, like Bao just said, we would be a billionaire. Literally, you have to put the best odds in your case and not always just generalize that simplistic because then you're going to trade that way. If you ask a question like that, you're just going to generally trade. Oh, okay, this has no news and this is this. So I'm always going to long those. You don't necessarily, there's so much to take into consideration. Um, let's see, volume flow, et cetera. Yep, a lot of elements. Uh, do you think the meme bubble will burst soon with Fidelity adding investing for the younger generation it is making for skeptical toward the market sentiment, which I read uh, today to be short bias? I do not think Dude, this means- You're reading shit that doesn't fucking matter. I, personally, I think it's more of a these movement guys, than just memes. Right. I don't think it's over. These guys are, you, you're reading fucking articles that are written by fucking guys that do not trade. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They wrote these articles a week ago. It's not current. You you are basically sheep if you're if you're taking advice from any article, um, it's the same shit, guys. When when I mean, like Dogecoin ran, and then people think, oh man, Dogecoin's to the moon, and then fucking tanks, and no one talks about it. Guys, these are one-off shit. In my opinion, do not fucking trade these. If you trade these, are these are pure lottery ticket plays. These are just like the altcoins, the, the Dodge coins, and they yes, they went up to the moon. I mean, of course, I'm, 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 I never said this could never go to 100 bucks. I see a lot of people, there's no way it'll go 100 bucks. Those are the people that fucking lose their ass, okay? Um, I'm like, holy shit, I don't know where the hell they're going to go. I'm just going to trade them line to line. I'm going to put them in my risk management. The problem I got was, to be honest, man, I didn't fucking see the parabolic. <laughs> I was not paying attention. I was green. I was doing great. I fucking, the, the webinar was on. I was fucking enjoying making jokes. Then I turn around, next you know what the fuck just happened. Um, yeah. So the the story, the more the story is, guys. You have to be focused when you train this shit. Okay. I I I I took it for granted. I was joking around. I wasn't fucking looking. I'm eating lunch, and the next you know, I'm holding five thousand shares of cost. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened to me, right? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, um, man. One of those days where you take a shit and you come back and you're um, like, what did so I just do? Focus, focus, fucking focus. Okay. Uh, this is nothing new. People see this shit and they go, wow, wow. Dude, there are shippers that ran. Drys ran to $100. Fucking Beyond Meat ran to fucking forever. Chill Ray ran to like 350 bucks or where the hell it ran to, right, guys? This happens a lot. There's, it's just fun to look at. There's other stocks besides these meme stocks. They're fun to look at, but can the ones making money are the lottery guys. The ones that are getting killed are the smart money. Unfortunately, our room is smart money and we don't fucking make money off this, but it's completely fine. There's a, the flip side. 90% of the people are going to lose all their fucking money on this shit. 10% is going to clean up. 
Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, the only thing I would add to that, Bao, is, dude, whether the meme culture stays here for the next 20 years or they dissipate tomorrow, there's ways to make money and stay safe on whether, you know, they go left or they go right. Like, it, it doesn't matter. So just bring out your popcorn, get entertained, but do the smart money moves for what you actually have an edge in in process, right? Um, let's see, George Costa, I have to say that you guys should take advantage of the fact that um, at MIC, you actually get to answer your questions, DM the moderators, don't be afraid, we're uh, we are here to take advantage of their experience. Not long ago, Tosh told me to get your life together before risking your money in the markets, best advice I've ever, oh, dude, that's awesome, best advice I've ever gotten and could have blown up with the wrong mindset if uh, if it wasn't for the advice, thanks. Dude, George, that means a lot, man. I try to do the best, <laughs> best profile picture in MIC right there, um, but, what I mean by that, man, is we're going to give it to you real, man. I've gotten on the phone with members and I've literally told them, dude, you need to hang up real money for a month. Get your fucking life right. Get your mindset right. You don't necessarily have to stop watching videos and learning. That's not what I'm talking about. But sometimes, man, you have to pump the brakes on I, I, because I your mind's this, not right. I got this three-day rule, guys, where if it's fucking the third day, do not fucking ever, 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 ever go on. These have gone to five days and beyond. Now, right now, any fucking longs that hold on to that shit, man, and when it tanks, it may never, ever go back up. So yeah, seriously. Be, you have to be very careful, okay? And you know what, man? As shitty of a fucking loss I took today, tomorrow, some of these might tank 50%. You know? Who, who the fuck knows? So the, the people ask all the time, what, what do I do? What do I do once I do? I prepare? I mean, dude, I've been preparing this shit for 20 years. The one thing that I fucked up on is my mental, mental, mental. And that's the only thing you need to fix, you know. Um, you, you notice my, my aggregation level was very high. That was a sign that I should not be fucking trading these stocks. Uh, now that I got completely out, I took a giant ass loss, but yeah. I'm more calm. I'm like, hey, you know, it, it's not like I'm not going to make this money back. You know, I've fucking been here before. Uh, it's just very, very, very stupid. So this is I'm using this as an educational thing for you guys. You guys to show you guys that hey we all fuck up and you have to be careful the reasons notice the reasons i fucking said that, that i fucked up okay guys you, you see these guys on twitter they're talking about manipulation algos fuck that everything's a manipulation you, you think you don't manipulate by you getting on the microphone with, with your fucking sheep you are the biggest manipulator in the fucking world when you have a when you have a microphone talking about alerts right so uh, notice what I, I i told myself i told you guys why i lost i fucked up I underestimated these stocks. I thought that they would die because AMC died, but then they turned out to be their own fucking stock of their own, and they squeezed. So you know that I'm fucking, I'm looking at the real reason I lost and not just trying to pretend that my process is perfect and all that. My process is good when I follow my process. I fucked up because you know what? I sized up. I was like, today I'm gonna make a shit ton of money. And whenever I come in the day, I, I swear, whenever I come into the day thinking I'm going to make a shit ton of money, is the day that I lose a shit ton of money. Well, and I it's just, and, and pal, it's back to the fundamentals. To all the it. fucking process, guys. Yep. Set, set your risk parameters. Today, I forced it. Today, I fucking forced it. I got bailed out so many times today, guys. I posted my charts to you guys. I'm like, dude, these things fucking just started tanking with AFC tank. And so, like, dude, I... I, I was trying to do the same thing over and over. And then what happens? The algos outsmarted me, man. You know, they fucking said, fuck this shit. We're going to deviate from AMC. And guys, the minute you find yourself super hyped up on emotions, getting excited, you're that dog chasing the mailman. That's when you're in trouble in your trading. Remember, when you're unemotional, real good trading and expected money is boring. It's boring. When you get hopped up on these emotions, you're in dangerous waters, man. It's just true. So keep it as simple as possible. If you feel yourself on the edge of your fucking seat, maybe you don't trade that day. It's so hard to accept though. That is such a hard one to accept, man. Let's see. Uh, any closing questions, guys? Any closing questions? Got like five more minutes here. Yeah, man, we're gonna try to be as real as we can with you guys, even on days like this, man. It's not all. It's not always pretty. Some days. Oh, trading... The best trade, the best trade, guys, is to no trade. Sometimes, I talk about this all the time. 
Um, today was not the day to fucking fuck around. Uh, they trapped them big time. So I mean, take, a, take a look at this. Look at Express, man. Holy shit, dude. I mean, dude, I covered this shit. What's the, what's the ticker about? E-X-P-R. Oh, that's right. Let's see. Look, look at this shit. I took, I bailed out. Thank God. As for us, I, I, oh, I wow. lost only like a thousand bucks. <laughs> this is a small loss today. A thousand bucks for the other shit. Fuckers trading at six, 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 six. I mean, sometimes, see, when I pay attention like this, the problem is Express was very liquid. Take a look at the volume, 73 million. Cost is 17 million. AMC is 700 million. Uh, the volume, 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 liquidity is very important. Um, yep. I just fucked up. I oversized shit that I should not be oversizing. They're freaking devil stocks, 666. Jeez. Yeah, man. Uh, they're all fucking running, man. This is fucking crazy. Express, Express is those st uh, the, the, those stores that sell those fucking ugly ass clothes. <laughs> yeah, know? dude, those uh, metrosexual, really skinny like shirts and stuff. I, I don't. I can't even fit anything. I don't know how these guys even fit in their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get one thigh in there. I was like, I can't even get my foot in one of their sandals, man. That's funny, bro. <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing, I'm wearing their entire fucking pants on one leg. <laughs> I need to buy two pairs of pants to, to fucking wear. To wear See, dude, this is good, man. When we vent it out, when we talk about it, some days it does make you feel better. And like I, I, you were I all, in, man, I came in today very focused on low hangers. I would have fucking killed it. I just stuck to the low hangers. Um, I, I stuck my, so this is the sign, man. You, you, you break the fucking rule and you get away with it. So I broke the rule. I got away with it. I broke a rule. I got away with it. I was making money, breaking rule all day long. Shorting fucking front side, making money all day long, breaking the rule. I'm like, hey, I think I got this shit figured out. Boom. That's what happens, guys. Do not fucking break a rule and get away with it because you know what, man? When wh I keep telling you guys, man, when you break a rule and you win, you, you will win the minimum. When you break a rule and lose, you often will win, lose the maximum. That's exactly what happened today. Well, you know, man, some days we just need a day to reassess, talk about it, vent it out. You've all been a tab partner for Val in this webinar, man. It's good to see you. I need money back. I need money back. Lifetime is half price, guys. Go ahead. <laughs> Seriously. Today only. <laughs> Today only. <laughs> I need to send, send your money. Send your money directly to Cobra. <laughs> <laughs> Val now accepts Bitcoin. Everyone send me Wagyu, bitches. <laughs> yeah, everybody that ate Val's Wagyu, you need to send it right back. That's funny, man. Fuck. Hey, it's tax deductible. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Price. <laughs> Not price lifetime. That's hysterical. Make payment out directly to Cobra Trading. My account number is one two three four five. <laughs> Here's Bell's crypto wallet address. <laughs> yep. You want me to trade for you? <laughs> you keep ten percent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fucking start scamming people. <laughs> Bell's gonna be in your DMs like, hey, you want to make fifteen percent on thirty thousand? This is the real Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at who I follow. MIC follows me. That's how you know I'm the real bow. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to, I'm so desperate. Dude, the market's about to close. I'm so desperate. I'm to start trading Forex. <laughs> <laughs> like those automated Forex things. Oh, my God. Seriously, dude. That's your impression. Exactly. Dude, that's so funny. Oh, wow. I, dude, in a matter of basically 20 minutes, I... Uh, I was down 5,000 to, Jesus, I don't want to fucking look anymore. It was just crazy. All, All right, from, so I, we'll hold off on buying a new wrist today then, I guess. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know what, man? The, the best cure for this, and I don't say this like, I, I'm not saying this is like a webinar. I'm just saying this is like a friend to a friend. Val, dude, get, you, get your foe. Go get a fucking foot rub, dude. Watch a good movie, and that's the best you can do, man. Just detach as most you can, buddy, when the market closes. <laughs> I'm going to afford a bowl of flow right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would have to have, I have to fucking <laughs> open, fucking ask fucking my sugar mamas and shit for, for cash app money. 
<laughs> oh, dude, when Bao turns to the sugar mamas, you know it's bad. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Uh, uh, only fans, dude. Bao is officially creating an OnlyFans today, and it's called Modern. <laughs> I'm sure you can understand the rest. <laughs> Modern <laughs> Hard Rock. <laughs> I'm saying right now, Hard Rock. Only Bows. Dude, it's crazy, man. I was, I was okay until I don't know what the fuck happened. Until bro, I'm you're, you're literally going to forget about it in three hours, bro. I swear to God, go get a couple corn dogs, put on a good movie, get one of your sugar mamas to fuck love you. So these are the two stocks. Cost was the main one that fucked it. I, I'm like, how the fuck did I end with 5,000 shares of this shit? Um, so cost and BB parabolic at the same fucking time. Take a look at that shit. Those yep. two were trading off of AMC. Then they just, for some reason, deviated. So the fucked up part was this, guys. Once it broke high a day, always fucking cover. Always fucking cover. Don't fucking wait. The problem is when you wait, the sucker never been fucking dropped, bro. It broke 32. Cost broke 32. That's when I should have stopped out. That's why hard stopped is very important. Take a look at cost. 32. It fucking spiked to 44. There was no chance. If you did not have a hard stop, you're, it's game the fuck over. You're, you're done. Dude, that's such a parabolic move. It's insane, man. So, like, so like, hard stop, hard stop, hard stop, guys. It's fucking... Uh, dude. It's, this is a whole webinar about how important max daily loss and hard stops are, truly. Yeah, you probably learned more today than if I had one or something, man, so... Guys, any closing comments, questions? You got anything for us? This is a good webinar, man. It was the webinar that we don't want to give, but the webinar that's needed to hear, right? Like the last thing Bal wants to talk about is a big loss, but hopefully if you guys learn something from this, you can implement it in your own trading. I, I, I haven't had this in, Jesus. I I it's remember. been a while, dude. It's been, you've had a really, really solid run for a long time, man. I haven't seen you break rules, Bal, in a long time, dude. Seriously, man, that, and that's what happens. I'm telling you, man. That, that what happens is, yeah, you you have to stay focused. All it takes is one one fucking deviation from your process, and you get fucking killed. Let and that is the scary it. thing about trading, guys. If if you do break rules, it really one day can really set you back a long time, whether it's mentally or actually in capital. And you know, thank God with Bao's experience of 20 years, you know, this won't affect him too long. I've known I've known Bao as a trader and a dear friend for a very long time. But but it does sting. It stings today. It'll sting tomorrow. But you get back on process. And if he does trade tomorrow, it's only low hangers. There's no there's nothing else. You don't, he's not going to trade anything hot chick. You don't do that. You get back to the basics. What works? Get back to green. Get back to confidence. Yeah, man. Today is fucking ugly. Um, yeah, man. Oh, I was like, I have a, to be honest, man, it's a, I, I was fucking not paying attention. That's totally my fault, man. I'm, I, I turn around and fucking pair box. No, no, nothing I can say. This, this is a very rare thing, but it happens, man. Take a look at AMC and take a look at, you know, imagine if you fucking short a thousand shares of AMC and then you turn around and you're fucked. Isn't that nuts? Bow, think about that. Think about someone that didn't cut their thousand shares short at 40, 41, 42, and they're risking pre-market highs. They turn around, they take a shit, and then it's at to 52. And they're like, well, I can't cut it at 52 because it's too much of a loss. Then they let it go to 72 and then they stop out dead highs. And then they're like, oh my God. Or they swing trade it and we get a gap up tomorrow of a hundred. I don't know. You never know, right? Here, take a look. Here, I'm going to post my chart on costs. Very scary stuff, guys. Very scary stuff if you're not careful. Yes, so you, you know it's when I stop paying attention because I would not let it have run this much without. Let's see. Oh, wow, Val. I never let you see it run this much. You I literally have, must have not looked, looked looked at your computer. So what I usually do is this. When it breaks up, like, so it ran, it spiked 35. I would have been all covered out at 34 when it dropped back down. I didn't see it. Yeah, I saw it too late. I saw like a fucking, I, I saw, whoa, I saw like 36 or some fucking shit. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Yeah, um, what's, cr what's crazy about this, Bow, is I can actually see in your chart what happened. You literally turned away from the charts. Like you weren't focusing on the chart because there's no way you would have cut it there. I see. Because all I did was I just looked at AMC. I, I looked I at it and I was on the webinar and I didn't fucking pay attention. You know, it's like, I'm shorting that shit and then. I'm shorting exactly where I should be shorting, which is the outer lines, right? That worked all day yeah. long. 
Uh, the problem is once it broke 33, I needed to get the fuck out. But I didn't see that because I was too paid attention. And in a matter of five minutes, it just fucking went nuts. And, and, and when I'm holding 5,000 shares of this shit. It's like, Jesus Christ, I'm a fucking dumbass. Well, and, and guys, this is the lesson for you. When you have a hard stop right here, your 2,500 to 5,000 shares is not crippling. But if you look away, like Bao said he did, and that was the mistake he admitted to, the, 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 the range that was, was evolved out of this is detrimental, even with size like that, if you're not careful. So guys, use this as a lesson. Bao's, Bao's really trying to educate you right now on this. This was... This is a really fucking good lesson for you guys to say, man. Yeah, because you never know, man. I never anticipated. I never thought this would go this much. Same thing with BB. But BB not as a, oh. Dude, not as a sympathy play. That's that's just crazy. <clears throat> Take a look at this one. This one wasn't that bad of a loss. This one's a manageable loss, but fuck. That cost one hurt. Now, this BB, BB one, it went up like that. So you see, you notice when it goes up, I, I'm fucking covering. So it's not that yeah. bad. It's, it, it gave me time. I mean, it moved a dollar in like an hour, right? Cost yeah. moved fucking ten dollars in like fifteen minutes. No, dude, cost you you turn away and you're down ten grand. Like that's insane. This one it gave you some more time. And the thing with cost is, if you're long up here, fuck man. When it goes down, you're losing half the money in your heartbeat as well. It's true. <laughs> so I was making money in all this place, man. You take a look. I'm covering it nice, and next you know it fucking broke out, and I fucking what the fuck is happening, right? Yeah. <clears throat> that, that, that's what the problem is, man. Yeah, this is normal process. This is Bow every day making money right here. Yeah, the, the the one thing though I did not do was I did not pre-plan losing. I didn't plan on losing. <laughs> <laughs> so well, sometimes we don't, and that's that sometimes you know bites I, I, us in the ass. I didn't have a fucking plan for when this shit parabolic. So you know I would not fucking not have a plan anymore. I I that's so when you when you fucking lose, guys, don't fucking just cry. I'm mean, like, take a look at why you fucking lost and make a plan plan of action so that won't happen again well because so, because the crazy part about it, and i know you use one minute charts so on a three minute this is like nothing right this is like literally guys look at this a three minute this is a one dude this is the difference of you taking a crap and making a cup <coughs> of tea literally so take a look at what the bb pull up my bb chart here i suppose that but i shorted where i should be short which is the high day hour line the problem is when 1450 broke and when 15 hit i should be covering out right and I fucking didn't. I didn't think it was going to, because all day long, it just moved really slowly. And next you know, fuck, it ran from 15 to 16, 75 in like a heartbeat. So, so but that, that was like, so basically, when you trade these stocks, this is another advice, guys. Take a look at the way it moves, the range. I keep talking about range all the time. Cost is like, Jesus, man. It moved 14 fucking points in like 15 minutes. I mean, that, that's just insane. Um, so there's no reason to be in any sort of size on that or just avoid that or put a hard stop because my problem is i will size too big to pull i cannot put a hard stop how the fuck do you put a hard stop on five thousand shares and that was just me being stupid right that was me not being able to manage my own position size so when you're too big when you are too big and you are the reason why this shit freezes because i'm fucking chasing this shit up and i can't fucking fill and so I am basically the, now the bid. My might keep talking about in order for a chip to squeeze, you need to have short sellers. Short sellers are the natural bidders of a stock. I was fucking the guy moving the stock of myself. Right. Yeah, man. Dude, this was such a good webinar. Such good lessons for you guys today, man. I um... Yes, yes. Cost, I was fucking lazy. Did not check the flow. You are absolutely right, A Dub. You know what? A Dub is a <laughs> it's an Asian Vietnamese gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bao, do you have do you have any do you have any closing comments or oh, things? You yep. Deviate from the process, you get fucking kicked in the fucking balls. Yeah. I checked the float of cost and when I saw I I thought cost has a bigger float size to be honest. I was lazy, man. To be honest, I'm fucking lazy. And so I didn't fucking check the float. And by not checking the float, I'm like, holy fuck, what am I doing in that side? Fuck a $200,000 position on a fucking $2 million, $2 million float, right? Yeah. So that, that, that is what it is, bro. It's, uh, I hear you, man. Being, being lazy because of uh, too, too much previous success, right?
Well, overconfidence and being gun shed, like I said, are very detrimental to your trading, guys. And just in general, as Bao just said, a third is just being careless or lazy. I guess they can fall in the same category of turning away when you're in a trade or maybe being in too many on a hot day, um, you know, when everything's kind of running or at least there's a lot of memes. I mean, I mean, again, this is kind of unprecedented where we see, you know, the, the side chicks and the sympathies really like, like start making moves when the, when the head of the snake is, is getting kind of cut and getting a little bit eliminated. But again, guys, at the end of the day, there's nothing that, that overtakes hard stops. You, you, you got to have hard. Bao just said literally himself straight from the words of his own mouth. If he would have cut right here, it would have been so much easier to handle. Right? So guys, put some fucking stops in, use your hard stops. Use this as a lesson from us, from Bao, from what we preach daily, uh, protect your accounts and you protect your trading career. Holy right. shit, dude. It's, I just realized this market closed. I had to close my think or swim because I was going to deafen you all with the freaking close. I, I, I know when they ring that bell, everybody's like, holy shit. <laughs> Val, so what's your process tonight, buddy? Just detach, you know, get a back rub, get some freaking follow, dude, get some ramen, do anything but obsess over the charts, right? Are you texting your sugar mama? I'm done, guys. Nope. <laughs> guys use this as a lesson thank you for showing up bow thank you for for educating on a day like today where it's not easy the last thing you want to do is talk about charts talk about how you fucked up but you're here you're educating and that's the most important thing and again guys i mean you have no idea how much mic benefits you from 18 plus moderators myself bow alex has shown up seven days a week whether it's an after hours main trading chat if you have any questions Three two one three four five eight five nine nine seven. We're gonna help you out, man. We're truly here to educate and make sure that you learn from our mistakes, from our victories, especially from our losers, just from everything in between. So we'll do this again next week. And again, just I'm gonna, a big thank you. Uh, Go fund me account. <laughs> I need a bowl of fuck, bro. <laughs> so whoever is good at uh, creating GoFundMe accounts, create one for Bao, and uh, we'll get him back on track. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week, man. You want a webcam? You want a webcam session with me? <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Bao, right, love you, bro. Catch you, catch you later, buddy. See you, man.